welcome back on the show. We love him here. It is Mr. Tony Sam, guys. Give it up for Tony Sam. Come on. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so uh, I'm growing a beard out. Uh, I, it's a newer beard. I, I like growing beards because I think it takes a real man to grow a beard. <laughs> right? I always like saying it like that because I wish, like, the bigger your beard gets, the higher your voice should go because the testosterone in your body's being diverted to the beard pods. <laughs> so you're like, hey, everybody, look at my big old beard! <laughs> and everyone now, they assume I know lots about camping. <laughs> that, like, I'm their go-to guy. But, you know, not every guy can grow a beard. I see a, a few good beards. That's a nice one. You can't do it, can you? <laughs> Let me ask you, if you try to grow up here, it looks like a sick old cat with diabetes on you. <laughs> oh, that poor animal, but his face that doesn't exist. <laughs> I like that first week when you grow a beard because people don't know whether you're growing a beard or your life is falling apart. <laughs> so people are always like, hey Tony, you do you do an you do an okay pal? I go, yeah, I always wear robes. <laughs> now help me with this electrical cord. Guys, I didn't do it. I didn't go through with it. Thank you so much. <laughs> One thing you should know about old T-Bone, I refer to myself as T-Bone. <laughs> Another thing you should know, terrified of spiders. Ooh! Ooh, right? Anybody else? You know it. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I do it. <laughs> like, if I'm in a garage and I see, like, a piece of plywood against the wall, I know there's, like, spiders all on each other's shoulders. <laughs> Waiting to strike! <laughs> But I've, I've never seen any of the Spider-Man movies because of it. I can't do it. That's true. That's a fact. You look it up. You Google that. You'll see I've not seen one. But <laughs> it made me think, right? Like, Spider-Man, he, uh, he uh, plays the castanets. <laughs> now, he shoots webs, and he swings on, I wanted to say, vine, but it's also webbing. <laughs> but I think... If Spider-Man was just a guy who had a bag full of spiders, <laughs> and ran around throwing at people, just as effective! See, I like robbing a bank, he's like, Oh, Jesus Christ! Jesus! Oh! I give up! <laughs> Spider-Man, he doesn't even know why he has the bag of spiders. Like, his dad had a bag of spiders. He died, he gets willed them. He's like, why do I dole them out one at a time? Why don't I just get rid of the whole bag? So, on the way, on the way over here, I saw a bumper sticker that didn't sit all too well with old T-Bone. It said this, it said, uh, if you can't stand behind the troops, huh? why don't you stand in front of them? And there was a picture of a soldier with a rifle pointed at you. Whoa. What it should have said was, if you don't agree with me, die. <laughs> Much shorter bumper. Now why is it whenever we say something we, we read something ignorant, we, we, read, or we hear something that sounds insensitive, we like to repeat it to our friends in a thick southern accent. <laughs> like, I'm not sure that the bumper sticker had that inflection on it when I read it, but it certainly seemed like, If you can't dub it, it's keeping it doo poop a doo <laughs> dee ba ba doo poop <laughs> Now, I wish that the people that said all those terrible things had a high-pitched Mickey Mouse voice. Because I feel like we'd all be like kind of on board with what they're saying, like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> gay marriage, <laughs> not on my watch. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know if uh, maybe. <laughs> like, ha, ha. Immigration reform, oh, get out of my country, pal. <laughs> and then a third funnier one. <laughs> 
You do the homework. <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, I've had a lot of terrible jobs in Los Angeles. Uh, one of uh, one of the worst jobs I ever had was at this really fancy bakery. It was like a really ritzy bakery. It's called Sweet Lady Something. It's not important, but uh, basically it was a lot of rich assholes, and I mean like not just regular, like super assholes come in, like they flew in the door with capes on, and the capes said Gucci. <laughs> Well, we sold a lot of cakes, and one of the, my favorite things that ever happened there was uh, some lady came in to, to get a cake. I went to go in the back and pull the order. That's how you do it in the biz. <laughs> so I, I, as, I brought the, <laughs> as I brought the cake out, I looked at it and said, Happy fifth anniversary, Vanessa and Robot. <laughs> She's pissed! <laughs> and so she goes, I don't want to be a bitch! But you know she's gonna be. <laughs> goes, but that says robot! <laughs> and I go, I know! <laughs> now, if I'm taking that order on the phone, I think it warrants a follow-up question. <laughs> All right, let's see. Happy fifth anniversary, Vanessa and Robot. Are you sure? Yes, I am quite sure. Do not question, robot. <laughs> okay, all right. And then Barbie was like, I really wished it was for robot. Like, you know, like you go there, I was like, oh, Vanessa, you and robot have such a beautiful home. Do not talk to Vanessa. She is mine. Put some cake in my fuel cell. Mm. That is good. Lasers! <laughs> Robot, why do you always kill all my friends? <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> it ends sweetly. Thanks, guys. I